What's up, everybody? So it is, uh, it's been a busy day. Busy afternoon. Ended up selling two cars to one family and um, sold a 2006 Chevy Impala for 2500 bucks. And they bought a 2005 Audi A6 for $3,200. So two cars, one family. They really needed the help. Let me go outside. I'm going to show you something real quick. So basically, for the last two years, this family has been paying $428 a month on a car. Now, I get it. People's credit sometimes is bad and they have to pay high interest rates, but this is insane. Here's their car they had, a Dodge Caliber. Just take a look at that. A Dodge Caliber. Let's see what year this Dodge Caliber is. 2012 Dodge Caliber. Now, they bought this car at a place called JD By Rider. Man, rough car, look at this. Window broken, that's plexiglass, okay? No window there, I know the feeling, I really do. I got a car with no window right now. Look at that. Now again, that's not JD By Rider's fault. Um, they sold the guy a car, and maybe at some point the car was in better shape. I really don't know, but look at this. I mean, look at that. It's cracking. <laughs> There's a cigarette butt right there. That car is in rough shape. It's got well over 100,000 miles, and they're paying 38% interest on that car which has made their payments high he told me he said the last two years I've been paying on this car I've only been paying 18 bucks on every payment towards the actual principal of the car loan which is the actual car the rest of the money they've been paying goes straight to interest. Well, let me tell you what happens, folks, okay? And why this is not a good idea for you to get involved in. This car here, he took it up to the dealership a few days ago to see if he could trade it in to get a better car. And they told him that they would give him $250 for his car that he bought there two years ago. 250 bucks. He owes on it today around $8,000. He is so upside down in the vehicle, it's ridiculous. So guess what? A blessing happened in his family's life. Their tax money that they filed this past year, his wife said she was outside last night looking at the phone and then she checked her Bank of America account and their tax money went in. Hallelujah. We're talking a lot of money, probably close to eight, nine, maybe $10,000. So they contact me today on Facebook on some vehicles and they say we're coming by. They live over an hour and a half away from here. These people have had a extremely hard time in life, struggles, I get it, you know, I'm going through them. To be honest with you, after talking with him and his wife today, they've gone through a struggle that's pretty similar to what I've been going through with my family, having problems living in homes, being evicted from homes, all kinds of stuff, you know? Husband's trying to work hard, works for a company that I can't say the name of right now, but a pretty big company, he's an engineer, makes $23 an hour, overtime, all that, but still struggling to get by. And uh, basically, their families had to live in a in-town suites, in a Hawthorne's Suites hotel, you know, and uh, they've had struggles. They were living with um, her husband's brother and it just couldn't work anymore. She couldn't take the brother trying to discipline the three children. And I get it, man. I felt for him. I really did. And I tell you, man, kids are resilient. He had three beautiful kids. A son that's like nine years old, a daughter that's like eight, another kid, son that's like six or a kindergartner. But I tell you, man, I felt for them. It felt good to help them out tonight and sell them two vehicles for 6,000 bucks. The subtotal was a little higher on both vehicles, but I got the guys in here to work with us and we got it down to six grand. Can you believe this, folks? 
If you are one day late on your car payment with JD Byrider, one day, that's it, one day late, your payment's due yesterday, you didn't pay it today, guess what? One day late, they will shut your car off, send a tow truck driver to pick your vehicle up and repossess it one day. Or I guess they take it to their dealership and wait for you to come pay the payments. But who wants to deal with a dealership that treats people like that? I get it, 15 days late, okay, we'll shut the car off. People, you know, gotta wait on checks to come in and get paid. People need their transportation, but one day late? That's insane. But guys, hey, you wanna go to JD Byrider and buy a car? They're gonna put a system on your vehicle, so if you don't pay that payment on time, they're shutting you down. They're gonna treat you like that. And uh, I don't know about y'all, but I'd rather do business with a company, Auto Buy Center, that's going to sell you an inexpensive cash car for $1,000, $2,000, and not have to deal with all that drama that'll be happening at that particular point in time. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching today's video. Stay tuned for tomorrow. We're going to meet the guys from JD Byrider when they come to pick up that car, and we're going to see what they got to say. We'll see you then.